2 Kings 5.22a Vayomer Shalom Adoni shalachani lemor Hine ata ze Ba'u elai shene Na'arim mechar Ephraim Mi bene ha navi'im the subject is Gehazi, the not-so-faithful servant of Elisha, and he said, Shalom. Now, they're doing a lot of saying, peace. Uh, this is the third time in three verses um, where Elisha had said, um, may it be well with you. And uh, Naaman says, is it well? Gehazi says, it is well. Shalom. And then Gehazi goes on to say, My master sent me to say, Behold now this. And then uh, he has a rather elaborate scenario. Uh, two youths from the hill country of Ephraim, from the sons of the prophets, have come to me. First, we'll notice there's a speech embedded in the narrative, and it's signaled by Vayomer. And this is a kind of a long speech of Gehazi. And then there's a speech within the speech, because he's reporting the speech of his master, or my master, says Gehazi in first person. So, Lemor here, it's from Amar, and it's the Kal infinitive construct, but it has a sense of, my master sent me to say this to you. And so then he's reporting the second speech within the speech, not from himself, but he's relaying it from his master. And within uh, all of this, uh, Shalachani, uh, this comes from Shin Laman Chet, and this is a Kal perfect 3MS, with a subject spelled out, my master, uh, with a 1CS pronominal suffix on the end. And then within this other embedded speech, from the word Bo, Beit, Vav, Aleph, it's a hollow, which means the center root letter is a Vav or a Yod and can fall out as it does here. And as we can see, this is a Kal perfect and this is in the plural, 3CP. So, as we would expect, the main sequence of the story moves forward by Vav consecutive imperfects. And then within the speeches, within the story, we have a series of perfect verbs for their describing what is going on. So, the one thing that's been kind of fun in this whole chapter is the vivid imagination of Naaman spinning out his scenarios. And now here we have the vivid imagination of Gehazi spinning out quite a, a scenario uh, to Naaman.